morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. It is April 2nd. I'm sure that all of us know uh, one person or more than one person that always has to be right, that always knows the best way to do everything, that always needs to win the argument or have the last word. Maybe some of you listening are one of those people. Throughout the Gospels, we see the importance that is placed on um, being selfless, the importance of building relationships with others, the importance of being willing to learn, and being open to seeing the value in other people and in other people's um, opinions and talents and things that they have to share. And we need to be trying to apply that to our daily lives. Sometimes we genuinely are right. And in those moments, um, as long as it's not creating a huge argument, it's okay to say, you know, this, this really is correct. What I'm talking about are um, the arguments where no one really wins, no one's really right, um, or the arguments that are really petty or arguments that aren't important in the grand scheme of things. It is possible to be right, but in order to prove you're right, we can sometimes hurt people that we care about in the process. And that's really not worth it. Unless the thing that you're right about is something that's going to save someone's life or um, protect them from some dramatic event, um, if what the disagreement about um, is about something that is very simple or very trivial, um, it's not worth damaging someone's relationship with you or your relationship with them. It's not worth saying things that are hurtful or putting people down or trying to make them feel stupid or um, less than just to build yourself up to be right. So it really comes down to intention. If you're disagreeing with someone or having an argument with someone and your intentions are good, you're trying, like I said, you're trying to protect them, you're trying to genuinely educate them, um, the, the topic that you're discussing is something that's very important, that's okay. If, you're, if your intention is for their well-being, then that's okay. But if your intention in an argument is just to prove that you're right for the sake of being right, or wanting the other person to acknowledge that they were wrong, then that is just a setup for hurt. There is no petty argument that is worth hurting a loved one or a friend. There's no petty argument that is worth um, saying something nasty or doing something hurtful or treating someone else poorly. There is no benefit that we can gain by being right or being vindicated on a silly matter that is, that is worth that. Not only for our relationship with that person, not only for that person's personal well-being, but also for ours because purposefully hurting another person with our words or our actions is sinful. Um, doing anything with an intention of hurting another person is sinful. Doing things with a selfish intention is sinful. So we need to make sure that when we are arguing with someone, whether it's a sibling or a spouse, uh, a coworker, boss, friend, if we are having a disagreement with someone and we are continuing that disagreement, we have to examine our intentions. Are we arguing with that person because we want them to see something important? Or are we arguing with that person because we want to be vindicated, we want to be correct, we want them to come and see our side? Um, examples of this would be disagreements about politics. Um, it's, it's not life or death. Examples would be um, disagreements about the right way to do a household chore. Um, 
things like that. Those are arguments where you're doing more harm than good by perpetuating that argument. So anytime that you're having a disagreement with someone, examine your intentions, ask yourself if you are trying to help that person or if you just want to be right. And if the answer is, I just want to be right, then that's an argument that needs to be ended. So hopefully um, everyone can kind of think about that a little bit, chew on that, um, and see if there are any instances in your life that come up in the next few days or the next few weeks where um, you can see yourself um, just wanting to be right and then um, kind of correct that and back off of that. It's something that I am currently working on in my own life um, that I struggle with, especially um, with, uh, with my husband, because <laughs> I always want to be right. So it's something that I'm really working on and it would probably make things a lot less confrontational in our everyday lives and our intentions towards other people would be a lot more honorable. So in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, dear God, thank you for the call to conversion that applies to all the dimensions of my life. Please help me to open myself up to finding truth and not always seeking to be correct. Please help me to seek your transforming word and the sacraments in the church so that I might be always seeking the good of others and being willing to listen more than I feel the need to speak. Amen.